as would be pretty damn obvious with the job I have, with the occupation I have, with the passion I have, getting people in amazing shape was not completely taking over their lives. The busiest people, the most successful entrepreneurs, amazing individuals, it's pretty obvious that there will be some steps which I don't want people to do. So here are four steps, four steps which you should not do. You should never do if you want to get in shape and stay in shape. The first one, the first one is follow a fitness fad. We see so many different ways of training, coming and going, group classes, dance classes, DVDs, YouTube videos, so many different things which come and you think this is the next big thing. All I have to do is this 10 minute crunch and hold it really, really hard. I'm gonna burn fat and all this stuff. I have to jump around on a pee for 90 times and so on. Don't follow a fitness fad. Follow what works for you. If it's one of these things, okay, maybe, cool. Follow what works for you, specific for your schedule, specific for your likes, specific for your needs, specific for your lifestyle. Number two, do not follow a super restrictive diet. This feeds into that fitness fad again. If you can't stick to something seven days a week, 365 days a year, okay, let's just let's cut that back a bit. Six days a week, about 350 days a year, taking away holidays and birthdays and stuff like that. Maybe it's not sustainable. Maybe it's a little too restrictive. Maybe it's not flexible enough to allow you to go out with your friends and have a really amazing social life. Maybe it's not flexible enough for you to go out on that business meeting and have a really productive meeting where you earn loads more dollars. Maybe we should make sure that your nutrition, your plan, is sustainable and not restrictive. It allows you balance, it allows you date nights, it allows you treats, it allows you to live life to the fullest. Do not follow a super restrictive diet. Number three, if it sounds too good to be true, it usually is. Do not get a miracle supplement. These supplements which tell you you can drop 40 pounds in 30 days or seven days to detox and take all the crap out and drop the first 10 pounds, cool. You pop a pill, you end up sitting on the toilet for longer than it takes to actually have that pill and have your food and actually go to the gym and do your cardio and everything like that because you're stuck on the toilet. You're just shitting out the results, right? Is that the way you want to live your life? Getting dehydrated, literally crapping out the weight, rather than dropping fat, rather than being healthy, rather than optimizing your hormones, rather than feeling amazing, rather than getting great focus, having loads of energy and all this stuff we link with health. Don't get that miracle supplement. Number four, if you wanna get in shape, don't go extreme in the gym. Yes, we see people say, I'm gonna switch beast mode on. I'm gonna annihilate it, I'm gonna kill it, I'm gonna smash it. Cool, I get that. I used to be that personal trainer that would go and really want to annihilate his clients so they couldn't walk down the gym, down the stairs at the gym at the end. Not cool. If a session takes weeks to actually recover from, if you can't sit on the toilet after you've popped that miracle pill because it hurts so much, maybe you've gone a little bit too hard. Because you wanna be consistent with your nutrition and you wanna be consistent with your training. If your training has hurt you so much that you can't actually get to the gym the next day, is it really a productive session? We should look forward to the training. Look forward to your exercise. Yes, there's time to hit it quite hard, but not annihilate it to the point that you're so extreme that you can't do the following day's sessions. So there we have it. Four things not to do if you wanna get in shape. And they are, don't follow a fitness fad, don't follow a super restrictive diet, don't go for these miracle supplements and don't go so extreme in the gym you can't do the rest of your plan. If you need help, looking further into this, finding what works for you, finding how to get accountable, drop me a message ollie at revitalizationblueprint.com and we can talk a little more about this.